In this video, I'm going to share with you how I like to absolutely scream at the Trips Tight End meta offense in Madden 22. This is going to get you really good pressure that's going to come in consistently, whether they max protect, block their running back, block their tight end. It's really not going to matter. As you can see right here, we're only seeing five people. They're blocking seven, and we're able to consistently get some pressure. So we're going to teach you how to do that in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. We upload multiple videos a day every day we bring out a new offensive tip a new defensive tip so if you want to get access to all of those videos again that is uh just do that by hitting the subscribe button also want to let you know that we're talking today about the nickel triple formation which is one of my personal favorite formations in the game i think it's a very underrated formation it allows you to send a significant amount of pressure it's got some cool coverages in it like the cover six the cover three match cover three cloud a lot of really unique little things that you can do with this formation so if you want to get my entire nickel triple defensive guide i'm going to encourage you to join my patreon my patreon membership gets you instant access to every single guide that I've released so far in the Madden season and every guide that I will release while your subscription is active. So for just 10 bucks a month, you're gonna be able to get access to everything. Every offensive ebook, every defensive ebook. So far in Madden 22, I've released 12 uh, ebooks, eight on offense or defense, eight on defense and four on offense. Defense has been a little bit harder in Madden 22, and so I've been trying to give you guys as many resources as I possibly can. Uh, those ebooks have broken down pretty much every coverage scheme that you can run in this game, as well as a ton of pressures and run defenses and all of that stuff, how to get consistent stops in the red zone. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, again, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You get access to everything and you can cancel whenever you'd like as well. Okay. So um, what we're going to do in this video is I want to show you kind of two little things. It's a unique alignment that you're going to get out of the nickel triple against the trips tight end. And uh, to show the first kind of component of this is I'm just going to come out in uh, the cover three here. And I want you to take a look. You see here, this looks just like any uh, formation. As you can see, this outside corner is on the right side. Okay. Now, if I were to audible to man coverage, you'll see that that outside corner will move to the left side, essentially, as you can see right there. Okay. Now, I want to show you a little secret. So if I come out in the cover three cloud, um, which is one of the better coverages in the entire game anyways, um, if I come out in the cover three cloud, you're going to see that it looks exactly like the man coverage play. So if I audible to uh, cover two man, you're going to see here that it's going to essentially do that. If I audible to Tampa two, you see it does that. If I go to nickel blitz though, take a look he now moves across the formation. So there's certain coverages that you want to run. Really, it comes down, in my opinion, is cover through cloud, Tampa 2. Those are all pretty safe for what we're going to show you in this video. But all we're going to do is we are simply going to press coverage. You don't have to. I like to press coverage. You don't have to. Uh, and then we're just simply going to blitz that guy that's over the top of number 10. And then we're going to hit QB contain and pass commit. It's really important to pass commit against trips tight end. If they run the ball, this is a really good run defense. I can just simply shoot it just like this. But if they pass the ball, what you're going to see is I've got, I'm in cover three cloud, right? Well, this guy is the cloud flat defender. So if I just shade my coverage down, I now have hard flats covered on both sides and I've got a five man blitz that will come in even if they block seven people. So as you can see right here, this blitz is going to come in off the left edge. That time we got a little bit of a weird alignment. I think it's because we audible back and forth. So let me just let me just uh, uh, run the play uh, real simply here. So here you see it. OK, and I'm just going to send five. And as you see, the pressure just absolutely screams. OK, now, if you want the pressure to come in a little bit more uh, consistently, you can crash your defensive line uh, to the right. You're just going to see here that all it's going to do is create a little bit of a sharp cutting angle. Um, and as you can see there, they're going to do kind of a little twist. But the pressure is really, really good. Now, the cool part about this is I'm going to go ahead and block my tight end. Most of the time, people try. That's the first thing they want to do uh, to try to pick up pressure is just simply block their tight end. Um, here, that time, it did kind of randomly pick it up. I will say for the most part, it normally doesn't pick up the pressure. Um, so that was probably just a little bit of a fluke here. Uh, I'm going to blitz my user just to kind of like make sure try to keep everything super consistent. 
and there you see the pressure comes in off the edge very simple and very consistent now the other thing is so then once they block their tight end a couple times and they figure out that that's not picking up the pressure their next strategy is going to be to go ahead and say you know what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and block our running back well if they block their running back you're going to see here that that time actually did, didn't do terrible at picking that up but normally what's going to happen is it's going to continue to come in consistently uh, whether they block their running back or not so we'll show it to you again and we're going to block our running back snap the ball and as you can see there um, he's going to loop around the loop around the running back and essentially come in and get you some pressure now the real powerful thing about this five-man pressure is let's say for example that they say you know what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and max protect we're going to try to block our tight end and we're going to block our running back and this pressure this blitz screams against max protect as you can see right there if they want to max protect this is going to absolutely scream against the offense so that's one of my favorite things about this blitz so again i'm just going to max protect block my tight end block my running back and as you see that time we got some a gap pressure you're either going to get a gap pressure like we just got but most of frequently you're going to get this um you're going to get this edge pressure uh, from that from that uh, slot corner there or from that corner that's kind of moved over so as you see right here that's how we did get kind of picked up um, I will say sometimes the splits is a little bit finicky but again in game I think it's a lot more consistent and for the most part it's going to come in completely clean no matter what uh, a lot of times if you're having any issue with it typically it's you're standing a little bit too far to the right and you want to be kind of right in here as you can see I'm right in here and now just kind of run down and as you can see uh, it only takes a couple steps and the pressure comes completely free. So that is the nickel triple uh, defense that I really like to use against trips type of sets because I get this unique alignment and I'm able to send pretty significant pressure at the quarterback. So uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the nickel triple, I think the nickel triple is one of the most underrated defenses in the entire game because of the fact that it's got amazing, amazing, amazing run defense. And with the latest patch kind of significantly um, significantly nerfing delay fades, um, it makes this blitzing concept significantly better and way more difficult to pick up and much more of a headache. And so uh, because of those reasons, I would really encourage you to get the nickel triple defense. You can get access to every ebook that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season. Um, by joining the patreon again that patreon is just 10 bucks a month and for just ten dollars a month you're going to get access to every ebook i've already done every update that i'll do to an ebook every exclusive tip that i don't share publicly on youtube and you'll also be able to get access to every ebook that i release i've got a couple of ebooks that i'm working on a couple new defenses that most people aren't running that i think are really really good and then also i've got a couple really good offenses that i'm really excited to bring out uh, in the next couple of days here. So if you want to get access to all of that for just 10 bucks a month, be sure to join the Patreon. There's a link down in the description below. So head on down to the description, click that link, and we'll see you guys over at the Patreon.